The aim of this video is to give a brief introduction into how to install Java and then Minecraft in order to take part in the Newry 2020 Minecraft Challenge for designing a park for the Albert Basin in Newry. This is a clean version of Windows 10 uh, and I'm just using the Google Chrome web browser to get started uh, but I don't have Java or Minecraft pre-installed so we're going to show all the steps. So using Google Chrome, I'll just do a quick search for Java install. And the search results should show me first the link to java.com slash downloads. Visit that website, I just accept the cookies. And then click on the free download, free Java download button in red there. Once I agree to the terms and conditions again, uh, the download starts and it should show up down your downloads toolbar. Once it's finished downloading, you click on it to get started with the installation. Uh, I got a security warning here, so you just have to accept that to proceed. And the installer should kick off if you click the install button and OK. So the downloader will go off and fetch files from the internet. It may take a little bit of time. I've actually fast forwarded the video here just so it wouldn't take so long for you to watch it. Um, uh, so it can take a few minutes depending on your connection speed but eventually it should download all of Java and should tell you that it is installed so we'll get a wee confirmation box now in a second so uh, we get a confirmation dialog just to tell us that we have successfully installed Java we can click close in that dialog box and our next step is to go back to our Google Chrome web browser and search for download Minecraft. It's important to note that you're downloading Minecraft to Java edition and that you're getting it from Minecraft.net. When you visit the website you should see a green download button telling you that you're downloading the Java edition. You click the download link and the download should start and appear down in your downloads bar. Once it's finished downloading you can click on that to start the installation click on next, next and install and that will proceed through the Minecraft installer again I got a security announcement I had to accept that and once you click on finish the installer goes off to Minecraft and gets all the files that it needs to get again this takes quite a long time so I've tried to speed up the video uh, so that it gets through it a wee bit quicker uh, but once all, once the installer fetches all the files from the internet and downloads them, Minecraft should be installed. So we'll just wait around for that success message. When it's finished installing, then I can click on the little Minecraft icon. And I've got the opportunity now to log in with the uh, email address and password combination. Now this email address and password you'll receive those details from Neary 2020 and um, so each each pupil will get their own user account. Uh, usually this costs about 18 pounds to buy online but we're providing those uh, credentials for you to make it easier for you. So just enter the email address and the password that you've been given. Click the login button and on the Minecraft launcher then uh, you should be able to see your Minecraft username and that's what will appear when you're in game. The thing to note is that we don't want to click the play button immediately here because that's version 1.13.2. We need to click this hamburger icon uh, and then click launch options and then click add new and we're going to create a new uh, configuration here. So we'll just call it Nearly 2020 and choose the release 1.12.2. It's very important to use the version 1.12.2 because uh, that's what we need on the server side. So once you've got that launch option created, click back on News and down at the Play button you should be able to see the wee arrow there. You can click that and choose your new 1.12.2 configuration. Click that and then click the Play button and that launches uh, Minecraft version 1.12.2. So once Minecraft has uh, downloaded version 1.12.2, you can see the welcome screen and you can click on multiplayer. Then the next step is to click on add server. 
And for the server name here, we'll just enter, you can enter anything you want, but I'm going to enter Nuri 2020 server. The server address is very important. Make sure you enter play.nuri2020.com. No spaces. And then click done. And the server should pop up with a green bar to tell you that it's active. If you click on that server and then click the join server button, then you should arrive into the Nuri 2020 server. In the Nuri 2020 server, when you arrive here, you'll see that there's lots of coloured portals, lots of coloured doorways, and each coloured doorway is for a particular team. Uh, this user that I'm logged in as uh, is part of Team Oak. So he enters through the green door, which is the Oak team, and you arrive into the Albert Basin map that we've got here. So you come in through your portal, and if you have a wee look around, basically you're, uh, when you arrive into the world, you're looking straight down at the park that needs design. So in between these two bits of water, that's the Albert Basin on the right and the river on the left. And you can just start building your park anywhere you want from here down. Uh, you've got a full inventory, we're on creative mode, so you can choose anything you want out of your inventory and just start building. Uh, all the normal Minecraft rules apply at this point. Uh, just your WASD buttons for moving around, you can use a mouse as well. Um, and if you want to change, it's getting a bit dark here, so if you want to change the time of day, you can just uh, enter the command time set zero. So you should be free to be able to build your uh, world at this point. Just make sure you do it with your team.